Oh, oh wait. That's okay. Ho- hold on. Listen. You're not going to hear this. So my audience is going to hear this, but you're not. But I'm playing a video, and I'll try to relate it to you as I can. I'll pause <laughs> it. So, so you may hear some silence. So while they're silent, oh. don't say anything. Okay? I'm sorry. There's a bear. There's okay, a you, bear. you can grunt, but no words. Grunting. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you do that. But but you'll be doing it over top of a of a of a of a of a comely young lady who is going to tell us with a smile how do we communicate to the core socialist oh, values a, a in hom- China homely or comely comely what's that means attractive comely c o m e l y c o m e l y comely a comely young lady I'm, I'm, come on dude I'm doing this the right way that's weird doing it the right way <laughs> did you want sure. me to say dude she's hot did you uh, want to turn this into some crude you wanted to make this a smasher pass didn't you 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 sick no. little 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 incel <laughs> fucking incels i'm sorry ladies everywhere. and gentlemen i have an incel on the show i apologize for that listen All she's right. a comely young lady she's an educated comely young lady also known as a a mindless fucking drone. But anyway, go ahead. So for Not more on this, her. let me now bring in right. our guest, Anna Jubin Brett, is the Anna Secretary Jubin of the United Brett, Nations Secretary Commission United on Nations? International Trade Law. Commission on and we International also have Trade Good Evening, an Associate oh, I don't Professor care about with that. the Okay, inter- whatever. I don't care about Thank that. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, I totally agree with you. There are a lot of values that share by other countries, and it's quite important to communicate to the outside world what real China is like. What the real and China is uh, like. Basically, um, under the guidance of Xi Jinping's Wu-Tang diplomacy. Under the guidance of Xi diplomacy. Notice that she has to say, under the guidance of Xi diplomacy, she can't go anywhere without saying, Oh, Chairman Z. This is authorized by Chairman Z. These thoughts Ugh. are authorized by Chairman Z. That's what she's saying here, by the way. Just, just so you all know. And, and you too, Vody. You can play along. That's China awful. China has made great efforts to let the I'd probably throw up. to know what we are doing. Uh, despite all the great efforts, however, I have to say that there are still some stereotypes. Mm-hmm. Z interprets content. This is a subtitle thing they're showing. Z interprets content as key aspects of national governance and capacity building. Let me read. Core socialist values interprets content as key aspect of national governance and capacity building. Do you want me to translate that? Bodhi, could you translate that for me? I want to see if you're up on your uh, bullshit meter. I have no fucking clue with that. Z a freaking clue. Z interprets <clears throat> content as key aspects of nat- national governance and capacity building. Do you know what any of that means? Core socialist values. No. You don't, you don't, you can't read into that? Not really. All right, now, that. Uh, all right, now, you just let me know if I sound nuts. Ready? I'm going to okay. give you, I'm give you my interpretation, and I'll give the studio audience. Z interprets content. What's content? Content is uh, movies, film, n- news. It's, it's thought. It's human thought. Human thought to set to media is essentially what content is. And what he's talking about is, of course, socialist values is the need for China to assure that the content that's going out into the world is actually favorable to Chinese socialist values. Now, the capacity building, this is the idea that they are using the type of content that they are selecting to actually create people who will more efficiently produce for the for the glory of of the state? To the the, the well, this is. I mean, if those are ahead. your goals, it's not a bad idea. It's you not know, a bad some I- kind of. It's not a bad idea some, to, to to control check your content. No, not if that's what your goal. Like, if your goal is to within a framework of preference, right? And the framework of I preference mean, that's is what. what? That's what we all do. We control what we say and what we think, right? So they're just extending. Well, we control that. what. Well, yeah, right. They're extending it out. Who are they extending it out to? Everyone else in their nation. Not just their nation. That's not 
that's not what they're talking about. This is about Wait, how do we communicate that? the core socialist values in China to the international community. This is about China mm. being a more direct force in terms of the type of content that's being produced in the global uh, arena. So oh, so are already exercising these influences. Yeah. This is their coming out party. This uh. is their, this is their declarations that we're joining the uh, the colonialist uh, class. We are one of the colonialists now. We get to do this now. It's our turn. <laughs> no, seriously, well, I don't blame them. Well, blame for them. a long time, for a oh. long time, China basically stayed within its borders. Well, China, I mean, not, well, China sort had of. to. Be, well, well, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the expansion of the dynasties and stuff and all that. But in the main landmass of China hasn't really changed much in a long time. So for them to actually be looking outward is a really big paradigm shift for them. It, it is, absolutely. Uh, it is, uh, they're taking their blood and soil beyond the spheres where they have been pretty much content. I mean, they've kept right. their blood and soil pretty much right there. And now right. they're like, and, and part of it, I mean, I when, when I rail against China, you know, within the framework of, of the coercive enterprise governance model, China is well within the realm of everyone else. They're not doing anything that's particularly more evil. But I mean, I'm just, I'm just like, listen, I don't really care why, I, I understand why China might be led down this path. But right. that doesn't mean that I'm like going to root for it and not try to stop it because I, I personally see it as a bad outcome, bad, bad outcome. Because China is. It's, yeah, it's a very, bad practice. China is very different um, in a lot of ways. And plus, they are, well, let's just say they're, they're new at this. And a lot of times uh... when you're new at, well, well, they're new at being a colonial and being responsible right. for being a. See, colonialism isn't like one of the reasons why so many nation states left colonialism wasn't because of magnanimity it was because they found it was much more cost effective to actually just uh use market controls to control nations right. and then eventually it became we don't even need market controls all we need is currency control and that's what the united states has done china's just like yo man we want our fucking turn i don't blame them i don't I just, uh, you know, I'm just letting everybody know this is what's going on. This is kind of what's going on right now. This is. It's a really big step. It's a it's a huge shift, and it started in 2017. So. Yep. Uh, so yeah, anyway, pretty much went unnoticed then, as I didn't realize that. I, Not that I'm the all I, aware uh, being, but you know. Well, I, I, I saw it in 2017, but I didn't dive deep into it. I mean, I definitely saw it. I took note. I started referring to China as... I I'm, I'm, I think I'm done using the word Nazi in general, uh, but I mean, my, my language is fundamentally shifting. Just I just in this last week, I've gone through weird paradigm shifts. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, so so I I mean I've been calling them uh, Chinese Nazis for quite some time, like since 2017. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I'm like, oh, everybody, y'all know it's like this different now, this different. And then I saw like the 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 guys that I used to follow. Well, I still follow them, but they they don't live in China anymore. I showed you shared some of those videos with those guys. They're yeah, out. Yeah, ADV, ADV China. Yeah, they're out. It's too dangerous for them there now. Oh, they, they got out. Yeah, it's too dangerous for them there. It's it's. They saw it change. They saw people turn on them. They saw, it's a, Chinese nationalism is 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 in high. Do I mean, this isn't something. This is pr probably supported by, I don't know. I would say at least seventy percent, and another twenty percent are are just fearfully going along with zealousy of you know with 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 enthusiasm because they're afraid uh right. but but i mean i'd say at least i maybe 70 percent of china is uh is full i mean i don't blame them i mean like i'm not judging these people like i understand like i i could see it would be so easy if i was in their world and but the thing is well, there's plenty of chinese if 30 percent of chinese are against this remember that's like 400 million human <laughs> beings so that's no joke that's a number, uh, you know. So remember when we're talking about China and the China, you know, let's not 
I'm not talking to, to you, but I'm talking about to the audience, you know. I always try to balance out my thoughts now with uh, not going down to, to, to actually work towards stigmatizing whole groups of people broadly because I don't blame them for right. turning like... Because uh, do you know anything about the opium wars? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you know why then. You know why China's yeah. like, yo, bitches, fuck you. I right. totally so, get that. Turn now. <laughs> totally get that. I just wish I could reach them and say, I, I would never even try to reach Chairman Z. He's a fucking psychopath. Okay, so I'm not. I'm not trying to reach psychopaths. There are people who are truly. You don't Hannibal Lecter. You don't walk into the cell with Hannibal Lecter and try to reason with him while you sprinkle your skull with teriyaki sauce. You don't do that. Mm. You don't could. do that. You could. You could choose to. You You know what? You're right. I'm just saying if your goal <laughs> is to live or to avoid pain at the very I don't know. least. That might, that might freak them out. That might actually secure your survival. <clears throat> I'm not going to count on what the, that. What is wrong with this guy? He's. Fucking... I'm just thinking the guy has literally, like, he, he trepanned giant trepanning of a dude's skull or was it a dude's skull? I think it was a dude. Lifted off the skull and like eating the brain. The person's still alive and getting the brain gradually eaten. I mean, you do that. I don't think that your teriyaki sauce on your skull is going to make a darn bit of difference in this guy's life. The no. weird is not going to be even even remotely in his radar. I'm just mm. saying. Yeah. You've been disproven. I've slammed you on the ground. You're <laughs> puddle of no right now. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. It's okay. 